Oh man, hope to god this is another UK arms gun. Oh, wait, hold on. What's going on here? I don't understand. Where's the brand? Wait a sec. No, this can't be. No! No! Ah! Hey guys, Rev here, and today I got another unboxing slash review of the UK Arms G36 Bravo Revolver. This comes requested by a few of you guys. Thanks. If you want to win this airsoft revolver, make sure you subscribe and comment on this video on what gun you want me to review next. I'll give this away to one lucky subscriber. Now, back to the review. Opening this box up, you get the revolver, two extra shells, and oh my Oh my god, no. What is that smell? This is the second box that smells like a locker room. Alright, let's get yourself together now. The box comes with a revolver, which is all plastic, a small bag of white BBs, which I'm pretty surprised that they aren't colored, and two spare shells. Yes, you heard me. This revolver uses shells instead of a magazine, even though it's a Springer. I've reviewed a few UK Arms guns before, and this revolver is surprisingly good. For UK arm standards. It has a silver metal paint job on where it should be metal and a black grip with a small bronze marking, all of which are plastic. Similar to the CO2 revolvers, you pull the hammer, which rotates the cylinder, squeeze the trigger, and fire. Something you didn't expect that you can do with this is that you can actually fan the hammer, kind of like another video game it's character that I'm thinking new. of. To reload, simply move the plastic cylinder release to flip the cylinder out. Then press the ejector rod to spill all the spent shells all over your counter. Which brings me to why I don't use revolvers. Reloading these things is a pain. And with this revolver, it is worse. I made the mistake of pressing the shells too much into the cylinder, and they got stuck in there. And the cylinder did not want to close. This took about 5 minutes and one knife to pry out each shell. Oh. Oh. Hey! The key to making sure that you reload it correctly is to make sure the shells are just placed right in there without any force within the cylinder and that the cylinder head is secured. But even with all of this, if the cylinder doesn't rotate, you need to realign the cylinder head or it won't shoot. Once aligned, you're back into fanning that hammer. Just don't do it too hard. Oh, just I'm just going to slide this right back in and it's perfect. Great. Now time to rate this gun. And this is going to surprise you. Taking this out, I'm not joking, I get the same results as the M4 and SMG Springers from UK Arms. It looks like they placed the same spring into this revolver, so it gets a decent range for a Springer. Remember that cylinder issue I was having though? That happens way too frequently, and you need to manually move the cylinder to get it to work. The hammer also feels flimsy, and I'm worried it's going to break if I take it out in the field. So I don't recommend using this gun in the airsoft field. However, if you're looking for a cool cosplay revolver, I would recommend it. Especially if you want to pull a McCree or have a fallout look. If you want to see gameplay of this, let me know in the comment section as well. As I'm going to try and get this to work. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I'm going to try it out. That's it for this week's video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more gameplay and reviews, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, first try.